Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about slow companies. So let's get into it. So the question in question was posted on a video that I made which was called Is it normal for junior developers to take too long? And the short version of that video is basically that yes, it's extremely normal. I would say that it is the norm because as a junior software developer you don't really know often how long something's going to take and unfortunately sometimes you simply cannot solve a problem no matter how hard you try you need actual help so the question was what would you do in the opposite case if you came you come to a new company as an experienced developer but it's slower than you are used to so this does happen uh, you may not think this right now, my friends, but uh, some of you, not all of you, but some of you, are going to get so good at this programming thing that you are above the curve. Now, when you get to that point, you're going to be faced with a few challenges. And the first challenge is that you will realize that people will hate your guts if you try to play at the level that they are not comfortable at. What does that mean? Well, it basically means that just as a star football player or whatever, if you are vastly more gifted than your team members or the people that you are working with, one or two things are usually going to happen. Either you are going to get really annoyed and frustrated with them because they're not up at your level and you're going to get basically angry and bitter over the whole thing uh, usually the thing that happens before that on average is that you're going to try to push your genius ideas and some of them are going to be genius and some of them are not going to be genius onto people who are not capable of truly understanding you they're not going to see the genius that is your mind and you're going to start resenting people because of it most likely now, after doing that for a few years, you are going to, hopefully, it's not for all of me, because unfortunately, it's actually funny, because I've uh, when I first started this channel, I had a few of those early viewers who were basically the embodiment of uh, the bitter this programmer who hates everything and everybody, because everybody's, in that person's opinion, basically an idiot, because they can't see how obvious things that, you know how things that are obvious to this individual why is that not obvious to everybody else and so what I say is that devs usually have a hard time understanding that no one really cares about your genius unless the company can appreciate that genius it's like being an underappreciated uh, writer or artist or whatever. You are smarter, my friend. Congratulations. Now keep it to yourself. Usually, that's the way it goes. Because unfortunately, just as uh, I like to say that a guru, like a master programmer, your challenge is not to come up with genius ideas. Your challenge is to come up with genius ideas that are usable and valued by lesser developers and usually what happens is that the devs who can't adjust to this fact they grow as I said they grow really bitter and they start crossing problems uh, and in my opinion the healthy thing instead of doing that is basically to decide for yourself that uh, either you have to grow as an individual and realize that you are at the level now where there's practically no place of work in the, in the entire industry where you will not be among the best developers there and it takes uh, it's a tough pill to swallow but for those people out there who are that talented uh, that's the only option for you because the other part is that you can start looking for another job but as I said that only works if you aren't the best of the best or like among the top notch in everything that you do and I trust you I trust me when I say this guys on average more more people than you think will reach this point because reaching that level of seniority and experience is not something it's not like you know being the world champion of something it's something that is very very feasible for a lot of people to reach that to reach that level and 
I can tell you that if you're unhappy, it's just like if something's too hard or if your people are too bitter or like you don't enjoy your place of work. Unfortunately, the the job is what the job is, or like I like to say, the problem is what the problem is. And just because you are smarter than everybody else, uh, that doesn't make it right for you to try to over-engineer things or try to basically stretch your muscles so that you can feel fulfilled in a place of work where they're simply not at that level. It's, as I said, it's like putting a star player with a bunch of amateurs. You're just going to ruin it for everybody. And so either you have to lower yourself to their level or put yourself at a level where you're basically more of a teacher. And that is usually the way that I find that it, that's the thing that usually works. Or you have to go somewhere else. Now, on average, um, if you want to sell people things and sell your ideas and actually get people to acknowledge the fact that you are a genius or very good or very fast or stuff like that and have that feel fulfilling, uh, usually the way I see these things work out is that if you build a strong enough personal brand, people will want to learn from you. And this is the key thing. Do you have the emotional intelligence and the patience to educate everybody around you? Because that is the role of a guru. That is the role of a super senior software developer. You, unfortunately, do not have the luxury of just doing whatever you want, usually. Because, unfortunately, you're so good that you're going to spend more time teaching people why they should do things your way, then you're going to be implementing your own stuff. It's like uh, being becoming a famous mu musician. Usually people just want to hear the stuff that you wrote 10 years ago. And they hear the same song that you got famous for over and over and over, so you're doomed to just playing that thing over and over. And if you're really lucky, maybe some people will want to listen to your new to, to the new album that you made. So, what I want you to take away from this is that what usually happens when a really experienced software developer gets into a company that is either slow moving or behind the times or stuff like that is that one or two things happens and it's both of situ both in both cases it comes down to the personal maturity of the software developer. Either, which it usually starts with, they're going to try to push the entire company in a better direction or like share their genius ideas and try to make people better. If they ha are really, really lucky, they're not so genius that people can't really, really, that nobody can follow along. Because if they're the right sort of senior, they will raise the entire company. Uh, they will always feel like they're being, usually, at the very least, that they're being held back by, by lesser software developers. Unfortunately, that's part of learning teamwork, my friends. This is what the, the jocks and the sports people learn very early on in their life by playing football or basketball or whatever doesn't matter if there's one super player unless the rest of the team can keep up you're still gonna lose the game and that is the insight that you that these sorts of software developers usually get whether they like it or not the other version is that they get really really angry and bitter because nobody gets it nobody cares and they feel like they're once again they're being held back and it's all down to perspective like how do you view your situation because the only option is practically always either go somewhere else and work and hopefully you'll find people who are just as genius as you are and can keep up or you start you're gonna have to become a teacher and a mentor and trust me when I say this that option is usually the sustainable version because it's only a matter of time trust me if you manage to become a genius level software developer, like a really good software developer, odds are that you're going to continue that journey and become, become so good that practically no team or no company is going to be able to keep up with you. You're simply going to be, be so good that most companies have no way of meeting the requirements that you would have to have in order to develop even further and that's when you start or at least that's where i think you should start looking at highly specialized work either develop your own companies your own library stuff like that or becoming an architect or a leader of software developers rather than just a code monkey have a great day